Hello and welcome to this Crazy Talk 7 educational project where we are going to show you how to motivate students by animating their drawings for class projects, holiday greetings, book reviews, and more. Many educators have experienced the difficulty of teaching when students have no interest. This makes it hard to engage students with class subjects and homework. But what if we could harness student cooperation through their creativity? Well, we can by channeling what young students naturally love to do, like drawing, and then animating their creations with crazy talk. Teachers are always looking for new and better ways to educate, and we know that when children are having fun, they tend to learn better. So why not encourage student participation by allowing them to draw their own characters and then bringing their own creations to life right inside the classroom. So once we have the students finish their drawings, then we need to digitally scan their images to have digital files. And the students can open Crazy Talk 7 and go to the top toolbar and then click on the Create New Actor button and then just import image. Inside, they need to browse for their file and then just open. Okay, so in Crazy Talk, they will have all the tools they need to process their image for cropping, rotating, and everything else. Then we click on next. And here is the actor points. We need, um, here we need to follow the illustrations on the right side and you will notice that each step has an illustrated guide on this right, upper right side. And it's a very simple guide and any student can follow this. So right here, we're just gonna set in the anchor points for the corners of the eyes and the mouth and then click on next. The next part is the face fitting editor. Here, we will zoom in a bit and we will do the same procedure, okay? Always follow the illustrated guide on the right side and re remind the students that if they have any questions, they can always just follow the steps here. So we're gonna drop in these facial points on the character, just like so. So once these initial points are set, then we need to click on the detail button up here and we zoom out a bit and we continue the same process of dropping in all these facial points to encompass the crown and the face. Once all the facial points are set in, then we can click on this control panel on the right side and this will allow us to calibrate the results. And if we need to further fit these uh, facial points, then we can do this again and then review the calibration. So now we click on next. And here we go into the face orientation panel. Um, we just need to make sure that the mask, this initial mask is properly aligned with the symmetry of the face. And also we need to choose a face style. So tell the students that depending on their character, they can choose from a human style if they have a photograph or in this case, they can choose a round face style because of the type of image that we have here. And I can increase the strength and we can click on preview to see the results of the face orientation. And that looks pretty good. And I'll click on OK. Now, the next step here is to add virtual eyes and teeth to my character. So once you have your character set, then we click on the upper toolbar to the eye settings. And then we get prompted that we need to go to the content manager to choose one of the template eyes from the library. So inside, I can find a variety of different eye templates. Okay, so I will choose for this type of character, I will choose comic eyes. And I know that comic 06 looks good. So I'll just double click on this. And now my character has virtual eyes. Now the next step is to add virtual teeth. So we do the same procedure, click on OK. And then inside the students can choose one of the templates that best fit their character. I like this one and I double click and that's it. I simply close and we are ready. Now if you would like the students to learn how to properly fit the facial points of the character along with the virtual eyes and teeth settings, then you can have the students visit the Crazy Talk landing page 
where they can go to the left side column here. We have an area called training resources and home and inside you will find a lot of video tutorials. These are free and the students can watch these and learn how to properly fit the characters for facial creation. Uh, they can also learn uh, tutorials about automotion, custom animation and eventually how to output. So again, in these detailed tutorials, we will we cover all the small details on how to properly align the face uh, along with nice little tips and tricks on how to get the perfect symmetry with an image. OK, so back in Crazy Talk, uh, the next step is to remove the background. Now, depending on your image, you might want to remove the background. So if you want to do that, you can go to the top toolbar and click on Mask Editing. OK, and we have a system that automatically removes the background for you. Now, I don't want to do that, so I'll just click on cancel because I want to keep these snowflakes in the background, okay? So the next step here is to add an animation. So in Crazy Talk, we have the ability of recording our own voice or importing an audio file that we can use to animate the lips and even add uh, generate an animation for our character. So we can have the students generate a script. Okay, we can uh, they can generate their own scripts and then we can record this. So just as an example, here I have a Dear Santa letter that I want to use for this project. So previously I had a young student read this out and we recorded her voice. Once I have that voice, we can go into Crazy Talk into the top toolbar and click on Import Audio. And here we can choose to either record the audio with the onboard microphone of the computer or I can import the audio file which I previously recorded. So I will do just that and I will go into my folder and here I have a WAV file and I'll click on that and open. So immediately we get prompted with the menu. If we want to create a lip sync only which will only animate the mouth or if we want to create a listen mode where the character will react to the audio with no lip sync or if we want to create a talk mode where the character will both react to the audio and also create a lip sync. So we can have the students click on this option, talk mode. Dear Santa, hello, my name is Mary. And there we go. We just created our first animation based on uh, the audio file. So we can have the students open the timeline here and they can expand the audio track where they can see all the lip syncs that were automatically generated by Crazy Talk. And then later, they can try to refine these lip syncs if they choose to. Again, if you want the students to learn how to properly do this, they can go to the Crazy Talk uh, landing page go to the training resources and we have a specific tutorial titled import audio and basic lip syncing and in here they will learn everything they need to know on how to properly fit all these lip syncs now the next part is to add an auto motion so basically uh, we go to the content manager and click on auto motion tab and here we have functional auto motions along with scenario so you might ask what is an auto motion well an auto motion is an animation that is generated from the voice energy of my audio file. So here we see the voice energy at the bottom and we have peaks and lows. So this auto motion will generate an animation based on the, the audio energy. So we can go inside and we can choose any one of these and we can test them. So I know what I want. I want to go to scenario. I will go to talk and I will choose kid talking here. And I'll double click. Dear Santa, hello. Okay, and this will generate, as you can see, an animation based on that audio energy. Now we're almost done. The next part is to have the students drop in a background. Now remember that we had our Dear Santa letter. Okay, so I will use this as a backdrop in my animation. So what we do here is that we go up to the top toolbar and then we click on background settings so we can have the students go in and they can import their own background images so let me go to my folder and here I have my dear Santa letter as my letter background 
and I will open this. Okay. Now remember that this image I created here, I, I did this in Photoshop and we can have the students uh, just draw something on a piece of paper. They can have their, their message on the side and we need to leave enough space on the right side because here is where the students will drop in their animated character. Okay. So once we have the background there, then I can go to the left toolbar here and I can relocate my character. If I choose to, I can also scale my character and we can teach the students how to do this. And right about there. Great. Okay, so now we're finished. The last step is to have the students export their animations. So they can go to the top toolbar and click on the export function. Here they have two options. We can export this as a video or as an image sequence. But I want a video here and, you know, for practical purposes, we want the students to export as a video. So have them choose for the video codec, the first one, H264, okay? And then the frame size, that would depend on how wide uh, you want your, your animation to be. For this animation, I want it to be a, a HD 720p, okay? Great. And let me show you one little trick here that when you activate the export settings, you have this little frame and you can see that I'm actually moving the frame of the final animation. So try to move this frame until you can accommodate both your background letter and your character. And then at the end, you can choose if you want to export that entire animation or if you want to set a specific time frame. You can also do this by dragging on these little red triangles at the bottom and this will specify the time range of your animation. Great! So at the end, let the students uh, click on export and then just save their animation and that's all we need to do. And that's how easy it is to create your own lively animations from children's drawings in Crazy Talk 7. Dear Santa, hello! My name is Mary. I love you and I have been a good girl for Christmas. I wish for a kitchen playset. Please bring me one. Love, Mary Sharp. <laughs>